Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am going to be testing out the new OXX Bloom makeup range from Kmart. So back in the day, Kmart had their OXX makeup range. I'm pretty sure it then changed to OXX Studio, and now they have the OXX Blue. Everything in this range is $7 and under. They have foundation, concealer, bronzer, blush, primers, eyeshadows, lipstick. They got the lot. So I've picked up an almost full face of makeup here to test out. So if you're excited for this video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see my last testing Kmart makeup video, I will have that linked down below. Okay, so the packaging on these products are pretty basic. The foundation comes in a big box like this, and then all your face powders just like this. Sorry about the glare. And then everything else is pretty much basic old packaging. So I didn't get a primer, I'm going to start with foundation and I picked up the Luminous Luxe Foundation and this one says it has a satin matte finish, full coverage and long wear. Now with the foundations, there were about three or four different finishes and in each finish there were about six different shades to choose from. There was a very light option which I picked up and there was also a very deep option and then there's just a few in between. So it's good that they're being inclusive with the different shade ranges from light to deep but there's obviously not a lot to choose from with only being six shades available. Okay, so here is what the foundation looks like and it comes with a pump, excellent. So this is the shade 1.1 Swan. It does look quite fair, so I'm excited to see if it is actually going to match me because if you couldn't tell, I'm super fair. Ooh, so the color actually looks all right. It is a thicker formula. I'm going to use a concealer brush and just swipe this all over my face and then I'll blend it out. Okay, that color is actually really fair. Ooh, I'm not going to cover up any of my blemishes or put on an anti-redness primer like I normally do because I want to see the full potential of this foundation, coverage-wise. Okay, so I might go in with a brush first. I might actually use my buffing foundation brush from the OXX Studio brush range. I did do a video testing out Kmart brushes as well, so I'll link that below. It does have a scent. It's quite floral. It's not too overpowering though. Okay, straight up, the color match is really good. It's definitely not full coverage, but I will put on a second layer to build it up and see how it goes. It is leaving that glowy finish, which I really like. So definitely a satin matte as it's described. Okay, so I did use two pumps on my little palette here and I've used it all up with just that one layer on the bottom half of my face. I haven't done my forehead yet. So let me go in with another two pumps. Hopefully that will do my forehead and be able to do a second layer on my face. I might actually zoom you in a little bit so you can see a bit better. There we go. So let's go in with the second layer. I do think it's oxidizing a smidge. Mm. And for this layer, I'm going to use my sponge. Okay, well that is the foundation applied. I am enjoying the shade so far. The coverage I would definitely say is only about a medium. As you can see, a bit of redness is still peeping through here and on my chin. Same with this side. If I did go in and color correct and conceal these blemishes first, they probably wouldn't be showing as much but it does claim to be full coverage and I disagree with that. So next, let's jump into concealer. This is the All Day Wear Concealer. It has grapeseed extract, Mongolia bark extract, and vitamin E. It claims to be long wear and smooths the complexion. All right, so the packaging of this one is super cute. It has frosted glass, which I forgot to say, the foundation is also frosted glass, but the lid on this one does have a little bit of a detail. Now this one does claim to be full coverage. It says it has a lightweight finish as well and I picked it up in the same shade 1.1 Swan and I can't see anywhere about how much it comes with but it was only five dollars. 
It has a very similar consistency to the foundation where you can see it's kind of transparent when you apply it, like it almost looks streaky. So that's how I kind of know it's not going to be full coverage, like super full coverage. But so far the color looks nice. Let's go in with the sponge. Okay, so this eye has no concealer. This eye has one layer of concealer. Little bit of a difference. Let's do another layer. Okay, so again, the color match is nice. It's definitely not full coverage. It is quite a sheer coverage, but it did build up. So there we go. Now for powder, I did pick up the All Day Wear Powder in the same shade 1.1 Swan. It says it has a long wear formulation and a matte finish. So the packaging on this one is quite cute. It's similar to the designer brand's bronzer. All right, now I'm just going to, I looked in that like a mirror. <laughs> I'm just going to re-blend under the eyes in case that concealer has creased. My nose is a bit dry today, disgusting. And then I'm going to take a powder brush, dip into that a little and set under the eyes. Looks all right so far. I thought that it might be a bit dark and it would darken everything, but we will see. Not bad. Okay, so I'm going to go in with a bigger brush now and set my entire face. Okay, so the color of that powder wasn't too bad. I feel like it has darkened it a little bit because it has added a bit of extra coverage, but overall my base has more of that natural kind of finish. It's definitely not full coverage as the products describe themselves to be. Okay, now I didn't pick up a bronzer because they were very, very orange and that just doesn't work for my fair skin. So I'm just going to quickly apply a bronzer and I'll be back to do blush. So for blush, I have the Marbled Blush in the shade 01 Apricot Glow. There were a few different blush options, all marbled ones. So it says it has a sheer finish and it is silky smooth. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, again, same packaging as the pressed powder. It does actually look quite luxe for a Kmart brand, doesn't it? And this was only, let me check it out. So if I didn't say the powder, the face powder was $6 and this blush is $7. So again, I'm going to be using one of my OXX Studio brushes. This is the powder brush. Let's have a little dip in here. Now it is shimmer, so let's go in lightly. Okay. And if you have a lot of texture on your cheeks, say you've got a lot of breakouts or your skin just isn't the best at the moment, I do recommend not using a shimmery blush because it's going to highlight that texture and just make it look worse. Okay, so, so far I can see it's just starting to shine in this area here, but I'm not really getting a lot of the pink color. Whereas the color is on my brush. Yeah, that's actually really shimmery. Shimmer, excuse me? That's actually really shimmery and I feel like it's just making my pores look huge. <laughs> Let me try a different brush. Okay, I feel like I'm starting to get a bit of color, but yikes, that is glowy. Okay, this side I went in a little bit lighter and it looks a bit better. This side is like way too much. So let me go back in with my pressed powder and just very lightly apply some of that on top, hopefully just to get rid of a bit of that shine. I think that that is just a bit too shimmery for my liking. And as I said, it's just making my pores look bigger in this area. If I just zoom in here, let me turn the brightness down. See here how it just looks really, <laughs> really pory. Okay, 
pory, porous. <laughs> Moving on to highlighter, this is the marbled highlighter in the shade 03 Peach. Again, it says it has a sheer finish and it's silky smooth. Beautiful description. So again, same packaging as before. Now I picked this one up because it looks like it's a bit of a white gold, but it does have that pink marbled through it. Now, I don't really feel like I need a highlighter because this blush is like glowy as, but let's test it out. Okay. Yes, it's definitely that kind of gold finish. Ooh. I'm using a really fluffy brush as well, so this gives more of a sheer finish, and that is still poppin'. Okay, okay. Wow, didn't know it did that. Oh my god, I need to stay off TikTok, seriously. It's taking over my life. I do want a little bit more color in the cheeks, but I don't want to just keep packing on that shimmer. So I'm just going to go in with a different bra bl bl blush real quickly. And <laughs> so this is the base done. I'm actually pretty happy with it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So moving on to brows, I have the Auto Brow Pencil. This is in the shade 0.1 Light. And this was $4. Okay, so this one comes in nice black packaging. You've got a spoolie on one end, which is great. And then the other end, it twists up and your pencil comes out there. The color looks pretty good. It's that nice light blonde is how I would describe it. So I'm going to start out by brushing my brows with the spoolie, brushing them up. Mm-hmm, I'm digging it, okay. So the color is a good match. It is quite a creamy formula, so it is gliding on easily. My only thing with really creamy formulas is how long they actually stay on the skin. Because I don't have a lot of hair in this region, it's all pencil, so I need it to stay on my skin. So I guess that's something I'll just have to update you on, but not bad. Oh, I cracked myself up. My only thing with the brow pencil is keeping it sharp and keeping it at that point where it's easy to work with. So I guess just the way you use it, you'd have to use it on an angle to keep it pointy like this. Next, I have an eyeshadow palette and this is in the shade 01 Blush. So they did have a few different shade variations. It says it's highly pigmented, silky smooth, and it comes with five shades to give you a wide variety of natural and subtle eyeshadow combinations. Okay, so let me take a peek. Now, by the looks of it, they are all shimmer shades, so we don't have any mattes in there, which I prefer to have some mattes and shimmers in a palette, but that's okay, like it was only $7. Now I am going to prime my eyelids. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer because this is a nice thick full coverage concealer and it's going to give me a really good base. So that way I can judge the eyeshadows properly. Where if I was to use the OXX concealer, I feel like it's a bit too thin and it might affect how the eyeshadows perform and blah, blah, blah. So anyway. Okay. Hmm, I think I'll just take this deeper brown shade here, please focus, the one up the top there, and run it through my crease. I don't know, let's just have a play and see what happens. Okay, so far it's blending out nicely. I am using my Sigma tapered blending brush to do this. The pigment's there as well, which is nice. Then I'm going to take the same color and run that under the lower lash line.
Then I'm going to take the lighter shimmer on a flat shader brush and just put this all over the lid. It's not really as shimmery as I was hoping, so I'm going to take my finger and see if that applies it better. And then I'll just take the center shade, which is even lighter, and use that to highlight the brow bone. Yeah, they're pretty basic. I... I don't know, I just have never been a real big fan of cheap eyeshadows. I think eyeshadows are definitely something worth investing your money in. Other things you can definitely get away with, but eyeshadows... I don't know. I'll just finish my other eye, and I'll be right back. All right, now for mascara, I have the Lengthening Mascara, and there were a few different types of mascaras, and on every packaging, it had a little picture of what the wand looks like, which I thought was a really smart idea. So this is the shade Black. It says it's long wear and clump free. It contains castor oil to help lengthen the lashes, blah, blah, blah. So white packaging, and it has the same lid as the concealer, very glam. Ooh, that's a flexible wand. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. It actually has a really strong smell. I never noticed my mascara smelling, but this is very floral. That's weird. Ooh. They are long. <laughs> okay, that is really nice. My lashes are separated and they're lengthened. It hasn't transferred onto my lids at all. <laughs> the only thing is the scent. Strange. And then lastly, I have a lipstick. This is the Matte Liquid Lipstick. It's in the shade 01 Natalia. It has a velvety finish, it's blendable, and has high intensity color. And this one was $4, and the mascara was $5. Now, I'm nervous for this one because it's a cheap matte lipstick. <laughs> okay. So it has that white packaging with a gold lid. Let me look at the shade. I didn't really like a lot of the shades, so that's why I went with this one. But even now, I'm questioning it. <sighs> There's no way I can wear this. It's like fluoro. Okay, I'm gonna put on a lip liner first. If you're wondering, this is the Astralis Lip Pencil in the shade Misbehave. Now let's go in with this lipstick. Oh shit, I'm nervous. <laughs> Okay, first of all, it's so streaky. The lip liner definitely helped um, make this color look a bit more reasonable. Like, look at that. Oh, I feel like it doesn't look as bad in the um, viewfinder, but it looks like fluoro. It's definitely drying down already. I didn't put a thick layer on because I feel like that's where liquid lipsticks go wrong is when you apply too much. I do have that like, what do you call that? I don't know, line. <laughs> All right, so this is the finished look. Leave me a comment below on what your thoughts are. I'm just going to do a quick run through of all the products and let you know which ones I think are worth buying and which ones I would not get again. Okay, the foundation. I am shocked at how fair this color was. Oh my god, in my last came up video, I did test a foundation and it was just. It was a no. So for this to actually be fair enough for my skin tone is crazy. I do think it has oxidized a bit. Like, I feel like I'm looking a little bit tan. <laughs> tan. I don't know, it's not that bad against my neck. So I think that's a winner and I will definitely be testing it out again. As I said, it's not full coverage, but I do like the kind of medium coverage that it gives. It still looks nice and natural. Same kind of thoughts with the concealer. I'm super happy with the shade. The coverage wasn't quite there, but I'll try it again. 
It wasn't my favorite though. I did prefer the foundation because I love a good full coverage under eye. The face powder, I was actually pretty impressed with. I'm interested to see how it goes for the rest of the day and if it's actually going to keep my makeup set in place but everything blended over the top nicely. What gets me about trying new powders is that they're not going to actually set my foundation properly. And then when I put other products on top, it moves my foundation around, but this didn't do that. So we'll definitely be trying that again. The blush, I definitely think I'm going to pass. It was just way too shimmery and just made my pores look bigger than what they needed to be looking. So unfortunately this one is a no from me. The highlighter, I'm definitely excited to try again. The color was really nice and I love the glow that it is giving. Mm -hmm. Next is the brow pencil. The shade match was really nice. The formula, it just glided on easily, blended well. So something I'll definitely use again. The eyeshadow palette, it's, it's just a no from me. The colors are beautiful, but I don't like that they're all shimmer. You definitely need some mattes to work with. Well, I do anyway. So this palette isn't for me and I don't know, if you like shimmery shades and that's it, give this a go, but otherwise it's a no from me. Next is the mascara. I'm pretty impressed with it. My lashes look great. So we'll definitely be trying again. Just that scent. Like, I don't know, it was weird that the mascara had scent. But anyway, lastly is the lipstick. I don't know, to be honest, I probably wouldn't use it again. Like it's already coming off a lot there. It just sinks into my lip lines too much, so yeah. I just had a look online and they do have some bullet lipsticks as well. I didn't see those in store at the time, so I would prefer to give those a try over the liquid matte formula. All right, guys, well, that is all from me in today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you are going to try anything from the OXX Bloom range. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would check it out and subscribe. I do a lot of Kmart related videos. I have a whole playlist. I'll link that down below because if you're as obsessed as I am, then look, you're gonna love it here. All right, well, I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Same kind of thoughts with the concealer. Soupy hat, soupy? Okay, why would you start squeaking now? You haven't squeaked the whole time. I can't remember what I said now. Obviously they're on. They're on. <laughs> Run out of breath.